And if, Hi friends, and as if, we've seen, Cursor is making a lot of waves on Twitter. Um, they just raised a bunch of money and they have this new composer mode, which is default um, to all pro business users by hitting command I. Now I've seen a lot of people be confused about composer. They're not sure what the difference is between the chat and the composer. So I'm gonna quickly go over a couple things um, to help you understand better. So they say and you can bring up Composer with Control or Command I, which will bring this small window here down the bottom. Um, and you can either press this open control panel button or go com Control Shift I or Command Shift I to bring it up in this bigger view, which I kind of prefer. It gives you more um, visibility. Pretty much the main difference is between this and the chat, which was previously um, Control L, this chat here. It works very similar. You can, like in this, you could still include multiple files and make changes across multiple files. But the difference is in how you accept. With this and chat it, mode, you can, it, oh yeah, I've asked for a change across multiple files. And in and this chat mode, it will actually do the changes across multiple files. Now the issue with this chat mode and why Composer is better is with this chat mode, you have to manually click apply on each one of these files and then you can accept or reject them and save the files and then manually save them as well. Conversely, if I give the exact same prompt into Composer and it makes changes across all the files and we can just accept all of them with one single button, which makes it a whole lot faster workflow. Now, something I learned to shout out to Ian or Shaoru on, on Twitter, follow this guy if you want more cursor tips. I found out that you can actually click save all without accepting to try the changes and then you can reject them if you don't like them. So if you click um, this save, I don't see a save all, but if you click the save buttons, um, it will save the f and you can and see the changes. If you don't like them, you can press reject and give a follow up prompt. So it's a really easy way to iterate fast, try something out, undo, and um, you can just reject all and give it the next prompt. Conversely, if you just accept, it will save the changes. Hope that helps you guys out. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment. Or if I got something wrong and you want to clarify, please leave a comment. See you on the next video.